punk show ever before in my life. And I realize that we have not been to Chicago, Illinois in quite some time, and therefore the lay of the land might have changed a little bit. I don't really remember Belmont being such a dog and baby neighborhood, but that's not important. What is important is my observation that this whole baby boom, these people pushing babies around, yields to me the fact that when everyone was hunkered down during this pandemic, which I think we can rightfully attribute to something that I like to call the Republican virus, that's right. Those of us who are hunkering down with sex partners were obviously getting our wild freak on and making babies, while the rest of us had absolutely nothing to do. And all we heard was, you know, once everybody gets vaccinated, except for the fucking hillbillies, there's going to be this wild explosion of pent-up sexual energy. There's going to be orgies and make-out parties. A golden age of promiscuity awaits you. I say bullshit. I'm not getting any more action after the pandemic as I was during the pandemic. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to get through this one the same way I got through the pandemic and for most of my pre-pandemic life. And that's the two little things. They are drugs and masturbation. And to be a helpful sort, I made a song about that that you might be able to remember this, this key to success for those of you who are not pushing baby strollers around outside of the punk show. And because my song about drugs and masturbation is intended for all audiences, I kept it pretty simple. My song about drugs and masturbation is called Drugs and Masturbation. And other people might not have the simplicity of effort, but by golly. Those other people are not like me, and I don't like this girl. of great on-stage precision. If that was your water glass, uh, I guess Mazel Tov. <laughs>